Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we have a problem which was sent by one of our subscribers, uh, Mr. Shreyan Patel, I suppose. And uh, he has been consistently asking me to solve this problem. And I was wondering how to imagine this problem Okay, So the, let's first read out the problem. Problem is velocity vector of a particle is given as V minus 6R and 3I, where R is a polar coordinate. Okay, and it is always directed towards the origin. And I is a unit vector towards, let's say, x-axis. And the particle starts from a point, 0, 16, and it reaches to 0, 0. So we need to calculate the time it takes to reach there. So to visualize this, you can think of, let's say, a y-axis and an x-axis here. And let's say this is the particle at time t equal to 0, let's say at point A, and this is given as 0, 16, and it reaches to origin. Okay. And the velocity vector v is having two components. One is like always directed towards the origin. Okay. This. So this has a value 6. And then there is another component which is towards the x-axis. Okay, So you can think of A as a boat which is coming from some point A in the river or sea. And it is trying to reach to point O origin. And the current velocity is always let's say 3 in the x direction. But the boat always points towards the origin. Wherever it is in the sea or river, it is always pointing towards the origin. And if this is the case, then how much time it will take to reach to O. Okay. Now, the first thing you need to think about it, what could be the path of such boat or such particle? So initially, let's take a help of vector. Okay. So initially, let's say if this is 3 and this is 6. And if we draw in proportion, then we get the resultant velocity something like this right here in this direction okay so this is good but let's say after some time t if the particle is at this point okay then this is still pointing towards the origin and which is in this direction okay right so this is the component of v in towards r and the current velocity or this velocity is still the same 3 in i direction but now if you draw the vector the resultant vector it will be somewhere like this right so if you see it it changed the direction from here to here and then slowly it will go from here to here like that so the path it will trace is something like this, right? So it will converge very fast towards O. And this is happening because the 6, the absolute value of the velocity towards R6 is more than 3. Because some point when it tends to become horizontal, then 6 will start overriding in a proper way. And then it will converge towards O very fast. And let's say if this was not the case, if this was smaller than 3, then eventually this would have gone like this. In, instead of curving towards O, it would have taken this path, something like this. Right? Okay. So, so far so good. Now, we understand that this is the path that it is going to take. And it is not so straightforward path. Okay. We don't even know what this curve is. So how do we compute time? Okay. So let's consider the, the point, this point P at any time. Let's say this. Let's say this is at point P. And we don't know the coordinates. So let's say it is X and Y. And this angle, let's say at this point is theta. Okay. Let's say. So if this is the case, then we can write the velocity at point P is like this. 
again going to be something like this. So what is the velocity in the r direction? Okay. So this is velocity of the particle p. Okay. Of particle p towards r. Okay. And then the another thing we would like to know is v theta. So what is the velocity of particle p in the tangent? point P and you know that VR is perpendicular to V theta right so if you see this is VR then V theta is tangent at this point which is like this V theta and this these two are perpendicular to each other right so far so good so let's write VR so if you consider the point P again let's just consider it one more time. So this is the 6 given. It's already given that it's minus 6r plus 3i. And this is 3. This is also given. And we have just assumed that this angle is theta. So this angle is also theta. So vr is nothing but minus 6 plus 3 cos theta towards r right if we take the velocity vector okay so this is i think clear to everyone and what is v theta so v theta is nothing but tangent to point p or perpendicular to vr so this is going to be 90 minus theta and it is in the negative y direction so minus 3 sin theta let's say t tangent to the point p okay fine so the absolute value of vr is minus 6 plus 3 cos theta and vr is all nothing but dr by dt so dr by dt is minus 6 plus 3 cos theta okay and what is v theta so v theta is always going to be omega r or r omega omega is nothing but theta dot r which is nothing but d theta by dt r therefore d theta by dt is minus 3 sin theta by r now if you consider these two equation this second equation will give me time because my goal is to compute time uh, and time from when theta is pi by 2 to 0 right when it reaches here theta will be 0 but we don't know r and from this equation we know that r is definitely a function of theta okay so we need to compute r as a function of theta and then we need to use second equation to compute time or t okay so this is our job now fine so let's eliminate t why because first we need to find r theta okay so we can write dr by dt into dt by d theta as dr by d theta which is minus 6 plus 3 cos theta divided by minus 3 sin theta and r right therefore dr by d theta is nothing but 2 minus cos theta divided by sin theta r fair enough which means dr by r is equal to 2 minus cos theta by sin theta d theta okay now let's just integrate these two okay so we get ln r equal to 2 cosec theta d theta 
minus cot theta d theta okay and which is going to be 2 ln cosec theta minus cot theta minus ln sin theta right and plus a constant c okay now initial condition initially we have theta equal to pi by 2 and r is equal to 16 it is given in the problem that means ln 16 equal to everything will be 0 is c okay which means ln r is equal to ln cosec theta minus cot theta whole square divided by sin theta and this is c is ln 16 so into 16 okay which means r is cosec theta minus cot theta whole square by sin theta into 16 which is so we can write 1 by sin theta minus cos theta by sin theta whole square into 16 by sin theta therefore r is 1 minus cos theta whole square divided by sin q theta 16. So this is the function of r or r as a function of theta. This is r theta. Okay. I hope it is clear. Right. Now one job is done. So the second job is to put this r here and then compute time. Okay. So let's do that. So now d theta by dt we already know is minus 3 sin theta by r which is minus 3 sin theta divided by 16 1 minus cos theta whole square into sin q theta okay let's just simplify it a bit so minus 3 by 16 into sin 4 theta and 1 minus cos theta is what so 1 minus cos theta I can write 2 sin square theta by 2 and that is whole square. So minus 3 by 16 and sin theta I can write 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 and this is power 4, 4 into sin 4 theta by 2. So we we'll get minus 3 by 16 into 16 by 4 right so this is what we get sine 4 theta by 2 will get cancelled out therefore d theta by dt is minus 3 by 4 cos 4 theta by 2 so we can take dt equal to minus 4 by 3 sec 4 theta by 2 d theta right Therefore, total time t is equal to dt, 0 to t, equal to minus 4 by 3 sec 4 theta by 2 d theta, pi by 2 to 0. Or we can just switch the sign and the limit. So, 0 to pi by 2 sec 4 theta by 2 d theta. Okay, so now let's just take phi equal to theta by 2, that means d phi equal to d theta by 2, that means d theta is equal to 2 d phi and also for 0, phi will be 0 and for pi by 2, phi will be pi by 4, right. This is the limit change, so t equal to 4 by 3 
0 to pi by 4 right sec square theta by 2 is sec 4 phi and d theta is so into 2 d phi so 8 by 3 0 to pi by 4 sec 4 phi d phi okay so what is sec this one sec 4 phi d phi so we can write it as 1 plus tan square phi and sec square phi d phi and let's just take u equal to tan phi that means du equal to sec square phi d phi and this is 0 to pi by 4, right? So for 0, it will be 0. And for pi by 4, it will be 1, right? Tan pi by 4 is 1. Therefore, sec 4 phi d phi, 0 to pi by 4 is 0 to 1, 1 plus u square du and which is u plus u q by 3 0 to 1 which is 1 plus 1 by 3 which is 4 by 3 therefore from this equation this one we can write t as 8 by 3 into 4 by 3 and that implies t equal to 32 by 9 seconds so this is the answer okay now this problem looked simple initially and it is actually not that complex but imagining few things the path understanding that the there is there is going to be a curve which is not going to be a simple curve and we need to compute time so we need one equation in with theta and time with theta and r and r is going to be a function of theta so we need to compute r first and then put that into the d theta by dt equation and then simply compute the time so i hope you like this video probably you learned few things from here let me know your feedback and comments about it and please do subscribe to our channel like this video and share with your friends thank you very much thanks for watching Subscribe and gain access to concepts and tips for doing better in IIT, JEE or other examinations. Keep up the great work.